What up fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. Today I will be breaking down the entire BDK Parfums line and we don't have any time to waste. So if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So half of these samples I got from So Avant Garde but the other half I got directly from BDK because they offer a four pack or a eight pack of samples of your own choosing. So I love the presentation of this entire thing and it was worth the, the extra money, you know, just to throw a little lavishness on top. We have Citrus Riviera and it's exactly what you would think. Think citrus on the Riviera, very marine-like, just citrusy, sharp, but it's not my vibe. It is definitely unisex, but I do feel like it leans teeny bit masculine and I don't mind a masculine scent but when it's fresh like this I, I typically like this on a man it, it doesn't have enough softness of a citrus for me to pull it off and that's okay this has neroli mandarin lemon fig orange blossom strawberry eucalyptus everlasting flower musk patchouli vetiver and tonka yeah it's just a very sharp kind of a, a citrus. Really good for high heat. I would definitely recommend this for a guy summertime. Just you wanna smell fresh and clean. It almost gives, you know, like the bitter rind of a, a, a citrus fruit. That's kind of what I smell. And that's how it picked up on my skin. It just, yeah, it just leaned a little too masculine for my taste, but high heat weather, you're good. Cell d'Argent has a very similar vibe to Citrus Riviera, only amped up. This one, 100% was masculine on my skin. Just very sharp. It kinda amplified everything that was in Citrus Riviera. If this wanted to be the x version, it would be this. Again, very just marine-like. Think Saint Tropez, just you smell the ocean and the salt from the ocean. It. It just gives you that vibe. It smells good for a man again, but for me, not, not quite. We have bergamot, grapefruits, a salted accord, orange blossom, ylang ylang, galbdomnum, and broxen, cashmere, timber silk, and white musk. Yeah, it's just this one, very manly. Like white shirt, white linens, you're, he's wearing something white on him and it's not a bad thing it's just for me and looking at my collection yeah it's not for me definitely masculine again another hot weather sort of scent but yeah, they're very, very sharp to the nose. The Zora line also has Villa Neroli, but at the time I purchased all of these, this one didn't exist. So it's in the Azora line, but judging from the notes, it's kind of looking like it would fall right in line with that sharp citrusy vibe. But in that one, they have Verdelli, Neroli, Pettigrain, Orange Blossom, Rose Absolute, Vanilla Absolute, Vetiver, Patchouli, and Labdanum. It seems like it would still be masculine, but because of that vanilla, it might do a little something extra where it can be a little bit more unisex. So if you like the other two, you will probably like Villa Neroli. Just the inkling. Rouge Smoking, I felt like a lot of the perfume influencers liked it and then a lot of the regular folks like myself didn't like it me personally i actually like this i think the reason why a lot of us common folk didn't like it is because it honestly smells like a vanilla dr pepper and some of us don't want to smell like that and that's okay but me i like it okay i found it very fun very interesting just very kind of cozy in a way 
and it, it it just reminded me of fall. I liked kind of that fizziness of it. I liked that creaminess of it. And I thought it was pretty dope. I thought it was cool. It was something different, but I know a lot of people don't want to smell like that. And that is perfectly fine. I will go about my life smelling like this. This has bergamot, cherries, pink berries, black vanilla, heliotrope, and broxen, cashmeran. Is it cashmeran or cashmeran? I don't know, Cashmeron, we're gonna be bougie. Cashmeron, tonka bean, labdanum, and white musk. I thoroughly enjoyed every second of wearing this. It just gave me a comforting vibe. And because we're moving into fall, yeah, I had no issues with this. It definitely did turn into a skin scent after a while, but I don't mind a skin scent. As long as I can smell it and enjoy it, that's great. If it's not projecting and all that stuff, I don't care about that. I really don't like people to begin with. So why are you, why are you close to me, okay? So with this one, I felt all the vibes. I felt really good. I felt really happy with this one. So Rouge Smoking was very, 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 very high on my list. Bouquet de Angry. At first I was a little nervous because it smelled a little bit plasticky and I was just like, oh God, no. But after a couple of minutes, I was like, okay, she's a pretty girl scent. She's loving life without responsibilities. Just very floral, very girly. When I first sniffed it, I definitely thought of Chanel Chance on the on Chandra, however you say that. But I thought this was a really nice scent. Something almost shampoo vibes. If you remember the VO5 shampoo conditioners, they were like a dollar. If you were with the natural hair, um, forums all the way way back when that's kind of what it smells like freshly washed shampoo hair i'm not gonna lie it, it it is nice very mass appealing i don't see a lot of people not liking it but i feel like if you are a spicier type of girl you'll probably be like oh this is just very beginner basic and i think that was the point of this one this is very likable, you know, something if you are just starting off in the niche brand and you wanted to jump from designer to niche and you like a Chanel Tendra, yeah, this is this is your, your girl. It's a little bit like leveled up and I actually adored it. There's pear, black currant, strawberry, Turkish rose, jasmine sandback, Lorinex, Lorinox, musk, cedar, and amber. So even just at the top, you know she's gonna be sparkly, girly girl, definitely for a girly girl. Very youthful. It's, it's just something easy to reach and keep it pushing. I did like this one, but I'm not sure if I would add it instantly to my collection, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Let's get into Passe Soir. A lot of talk about this one and she did not disappoint. I thought about champagne and smiles. <laughs> this was very much so champagne bubbles. She was giving rich on tea vibes. She, okay, she drinks Proseccos with Saint Germain. That happens to be my drink. If she feeling a little extra sassy, she gonna add vodka to it. But this woman is very much so charming. She gets along with everyone. She just glides around the party, you know? And there's something a little bit fruity and there's uh, something a little sweet about this. Not too much sweetness. I didn't get a ton of sweetness on my skin and I barely scratched the surface of the, the fruitiness. I smell it in the air, but when I smell my skin, not too, not too much. There's black pepper, ginger, mandarin, pear, jasmine, quince, orange blossom, cashmere, patchouli, and amber wood. I was shocked that I really liked it because you all know me and Patchouli don't get along all the time. But on this one, it never felt stinky or dirty on me. I just felt like the life of the party. Like I'm a hostess. <laughs> like, come to me children. How, how might I be of service? You know, she's one of those, the shoulder aunties. You know, I wanna be a shoulder auntie. I'm working my way up there. But I just feel like this was a really, really beautiful scent. It's a little bit sexy, a little bit sweet, a little bit fun, just a really nice overall scent. I really love this one. I enjoyed it. I wore this one a couple of times and 
yeah, I just felt good. You know me, I'm all about the vibe and how do I feel when I'm wearing it. And I felt fantastic. It suited multiple moods, okay? And it just smells so good. So freaking good. Mm-hmm. Yes, this one was a winner for me. Nuit de Sable completely surprised me. This is probably my biggest surprise because I didn't think I would like it. Wow, this was, to me, the best interpretation of a Middle Eastern fragrance that I would like, okay? I got a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice, just, it, it, it was my vibe. Abu Dhabi, where we going? It, it wasn't too incensey, too sweet, just, it was just the perfect Middle Eastern vibe. Think desert sands. We're going to the souk market. It's just like, it really transported me to the Middle East and I was just all the way here for it. They have cardamom, nutmeg, cumin, absolute of rose from Turkey, AKA Turkish rose, rose oxide, hot sand accord, sandalwood, tonka bean, and broxen musk. Just, just wow. And then when I took a really, really deep breath on my skin, like, I, f I felt like it was a dried, like, flower market. Like, I had a whole a vibe, like, pictured, like, just think Sex in the City too. Miranda's all white when she did go to the souk for the spices. That's how I'm dressed all day, every day. Like, I am an international traveler. This one I really loved. And y'all know I don't mess with oud like that. So for me, if I were going to go to the Middle East, this is what I would want to smell like. This, Or even a, a Middle Eastern restaurant. This is what I would want to smell like because I wanted to like have the vibe. I want to be transported mentally. And to me, it, it, like almost just appreciate the culture that they offer. I thought this was lovely. I don't think a lot of people actually talk about it. Don't know why, but yeah, it's not an everyday type of use. Because of that teeny bit of sweetness, it does lean a little bit more feminine in my opinion. I could see a man wearing this, a woman wearing this, and I just don't know why a lot of people don't talk about it. I typically don't have occasion fragrances, but this one, nighttime, and definitely Middle Eastern something. Gris Charnel is the perfect gloomy, rainy day scent. But there is a coziness when it comes to those days that I absolutely love. This is, you know, fuzzy socks, warm blanket, great meal, and snacked in all the killer shows. That's what I'm wearing when I, 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 I think about this scent. It's so lovely, it's cozy, it's slightly creamy. Black tea, fig, just, <sighs> I could see why it's so popular, but I can also see why someone doesn't like it because it does, you know, start off a little bit earthy. But, oh, that black tea and that fig, Oh my goodness, it smells divine, so divine. And there's like a, a creaminess to it. Like not sweet, but just creamy. Like, oh, it's so nice. It's fig, black tea, cardamom, iris, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka bean. It's really that sandalwood tonka bean combo that just creams it and smooths it up. So cozy. This is a cozy scent. And you know, you don't have a lot of rainy day kind of fragrances, but this one, it, it to me, it, it encompasses a perfect rainy day. You're just, sentimental mood is playing. Just, there's something a little bit sexy about it. Just very grown up about it. And just, <sighs> like a little calming. Like, I, I just, I just enjoy it a lot. It's just the juice. Can we talk about the juice real quick? It's all nice and gray. You already know when to wear it, sis. A day like that. If outside looks like that gray juice, that's what you wear. You, you don't even gotta think about it. This is what you wear. Perfect for these fall days that's ahead of us where it's gonna be raining. Oh, I couldn't get enough of this one. 
couldn't get enough. As long as you can get over that initial like earthy hump. After that, smooth sailing. Gris Charnel X Straight. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jacqueline. Yes, I have a French alias. This is definitely a amped up version of the original. Every note, they just jacked it up. Now, I do feel like this is a little bit more masculine leaning and the original is a little bit more feminine. As far as a woman wearing this, she is in a, a dimly lit club, chignon, red lipstick, uh, something in her glass, black dress, heels with stockings with the, the line up the back. That's what she's wearing. But if a man is wearing this, I'm beard gang all day. So he has a beard. He has a white shirt that is buttoned down to here, wearing a leather jacket, fitted pants. He is riding a motorcycle. We are in Patty, darling. Either one of those people, they don't ask you to come home with them. You just go, okay? You just go, all right? This is very, very sexy. A ton of spice when it first opens and it just, it's just amped up. This has cardamom, black tea, fig, iris, sit, this says citrus, bourbon, vetiver, patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, cedar, and tonka bean. So they added that patchouli and that vanilla at the base and it just, it gave it more of a woody, leathery vibe. Creamy, not as sweet as the original. Slightly smoky, not a lot of smoke, but I would definitely say more leathery than smoky. But yeah, this one, I get it. <laughs> this person is a seductress. That's it, seductress. If you want to be seductive, confident, alluring, you wear the X straight, okay? You getting busy, okay? That's what that's all I'm gonna say about that. We have French bouquet, and this gave me very classic perfume vibes. Not old lady powdery, but definitely old school. It's a little bit softer than your old school one, which I mean, it was really it's nice. It's okay. I do not see a young person pulling this off at all. Unless you've just had that sort of life where you have all this experience, go ahead, sis. But definitely a more mature woman is wearing this. It's it's just very classic. Just Chanel. Like she she has Chanel, you know? With the jack. She wears the Chanel jackets. Just very older. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but this has aldehydes, coriander, bergamot, rose, jasmine, orange blossom, labdanum, tobacco, vetiver, patchouli, violet, sandalwood, and tonka bean. This is something I would probably wear in my, my later life, okay? Definitely not there yet. If you're a city girl, type girl, now you've got Megan Thee Stallion in your knees, you're not wearing this. <laughs> you're not. But if you're a little bit more sophisticated, you know, probably you're probably extra bougie if you're young wearing this. Yeah, you're definitely extra bougie. You have a rich old husband. I can tell you that right now, and he loves the scent on you. But for me, <laughs> I'm not there yet, okay? I'm still trying to figure out the game. <laughs> but... Overall, it is a nice scent, but I can see only a specific older demographic really reaching for this, unless you are just that type of girl and you're trying to get you a, a nice wealthy man. Ombre Safrano, for some reason, I got leather and Vaseline. <laughs> I don't know why that's what I smell, but that's what I got on my nose. This just was not me. I categorized this in the man section, but it had saffron, black pepper, plum, rose, black leather, oak wood, sandalwood, vanilla bean. They also have something called Caledonian in here. I'm not a professional perfumer, so a lot of these notes, I don't even know what they are. But yeah, I just categorized this in the man section. I believe this was an exclusive to 
carrots, I wanna say. And I think you can only get this on the BDK website as well. But yeah, it's not something I would be adding to my collection because I just categorize this as a man work. Tabac Rose gave me an instant zing in my nose and I instantly knew, oh, that's Turkish Rose. <laughs> and <laughs> wow, it was a huge, just mm, Turkish Rose right up my nostrils. Tobacco, I have no idea where she goes, but um, she did not show up on me at all. They should have just named this Turkish Rose call it and called it a day. Definitely, definitely didn't get any sort of tobacco. Even though it's in here, there's pink pepper, plum, lemon, rose, cinnamon, chocolate, tobacco, patchouli, and labdanum. Yeah, it's, it's the Turkish Rose that really just shines in this one. And I like Turkish Rose. Don't get me wrong, Delina is filled with Turkish Rose. I even have the nest oil of Turkish Rose, so I know exactly when, when I smell it. And I definitely smell it in here. I would get little whiffs of that chocolate, and I was like, oh, is that dark chocolate? Mm hmm Someone who wears this is definitely intriguing, you know? And it had a little bit of that fruity smell to it too, later on, once it really settled on your skin. This was Lancome's Oud Bouquet without the Oud and the Praline. That, that's what this is. But that chocolate though, it's just, it just creeps up out of nowhere. And then you're like, what is, what is that chocolate? <laughs> it's so interesting. But yeah, like this one, I definitely wanted to play around with a little bit more, but there's something to her. I don't have her figured out quite yet. And I feel like the person who wears this, you don't have them figured out either. But because you're just gonna be sitting there like, what, what is that? And not in a Cardi B, oh my God, what is that? Not that way, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, hmm. Hmm. Tuberose Imperial. A lot of people were like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I've been getting into tuberose a whole lot and hated it, hated it. Hated the opening, hated the mid. Just, it smelled dirty on me. Like when I'm smelling it from the paper, it smells all right. I'm like, okay, I could really rocks with this. On my skin, did me dirty, did me dirty. I was just like, why, why, like, why would you do that? <laughs> why? I was really looking forward to this because tuberose has just been rising up the ranks. And yeah, I just got shocked all the way down with this one. This has pink peppercorn, geranium, tuberose, ylang ylang, jasmine sandback, iris, jasmine of Egypt, cashmeron, sandalwood, incense, vanilla, patchouli, benzoin, and cypress. Yeah, I don't know what on my skin is dirty. I'm assuming it's that patchouli that just was like, no, <laughs> you can't enjoy tuberose anymore. But yeah, on my skin, this smelled so funky, so funky. And I love how it smells on the paper. Absolutely love it. I feel like I'm gonna love the scent on other people and I'm upset. I want my money back, <laughs> but yeah, just on me, it wasn't good. Would I consider this everyday? I feel like this is a very good everyday scent for whoever can wear this. And uh, yeah, it's just, I, I feel like this is kind of signature scent worthy, which I'm upset about. <laughs> so if you're wearing this as your signature scent, congratulations. I don't like you. <laughs> if you're looking for something intriguing, creme de cure, is definitely your your go-to scent. It smells very familiar to me, don't know what. I feel like this is unisex, but it leans a little bit on the masculine side of the fence. It's a creamy suede with a sprinkle of vanilla, perfect for a late night joyride. Top down, cruising down the turnpike, listening to CD 101.9. I know it's not around anymore, so it's 98.7. If you're in the tri-state area, you know, already know. But just breezing your hair, one of those warm nights. This gave me the similar vibe that um, Initial Rehab had. They don't smell alike at all, but it's just that 
that comfort of a man. <laughs> and it's just like, ah, oh. again, it's that intimacy that it that it smells like this is just we're outside type of intimacy <laughs> um but this one has mandarin bergamot pineapple pink berries solar accord a white suede sandalwood vanilla birch and musk i really really enjoyed this scent I would love it on a man it, it's something very like just calming about it and you want to get to know people, you just wanna just chill, relax. Yeah, it's just one of those perfect summer nights driving. It, it's, oh my God, I can smell this in the air when I, when I freaking close my eyes, but I would highly recommend this for a man, 100%. I had a very, very high hopes for Velvet Tonka, and this is a almondy explode jean i don't know why they call it velvet tonka they should have called this velvet almond however not for me absolutely not on my skin this smells terrible i was just so upset with this one because i really thought sis was going to love it everyone was like yes the almond the almond mm -mm. Mm -mm. It kind of smells like Play-Doh to me. I typically don't get sick to the stomach when wearing fragrances. This made me sick. Took a couple of days off in the middle and then tried it out again. It makes me sick to my stomach. And I was just like, damn, Velvet Tonka, you going to do this to me? You going to play me like that? Oh, just even smelling it right now. It's doing something to my stomachs. But this has orange blossom, almonds, rose absolute, tobacco absolute, Tonka beans, vanilla, amorous wood, amber woods. This really pissed me off. <laughs> On my skin, this just, mm -mm. I can't smell that no more. It's really turning my stomach. But if you do like that, good for you. I, I, I'm really surprised that I did not like the almond zest in here. I think it was just way too much for me. And it just, it just turns my stomach. It turns my stomach something nasty um so yeah this was this was a sad one because i know a lot of people actually really rave about velvet tonka but i am not one of those people so she will be going somewhere else i already knew oud abramad i wasn't going to like it because clue was in the name oud do i like oud no do i like the scent no because it's a oud explosion <laughs> Yeah, I just think oud is too manly for me. And yeah, it just, all I smelled was oud. I didn't even know the rest of the notes in here. I just was like, oh, that's a man. I remember spraying it right in the crook of my arm. I only did one spray and that thing was around all day. I, I'm just not a oud girl. I haven't found my right oud right now. So I was like immediately no with this one. This had saffron, ginger, Turkish rose, cumin, Argard wood, which is oud, Gayak wood, rock rose, incense, patchouli, castorium, and orchinox. All of, all of the things that I don't like. All of the things. I'm not a huge fan of ginger. I'm not a huge fan of oud. I'm not a huge fan, fan of patch, uh, patchouli, incense. They have the beaver castorium in here, um, which is in another fragrance of mine, which I absolutely love, but in here, I don't smell it, but because I all I smell is oud. All I smell is oud. And yeah, it's just, yeah, man. That's for the men's or the ladies who like oud. For me, it's a no. With wood, Jasmine, you're already thinking, oh, it's gonna be woody. No, this surprised me and shocked me. This was basically a boozy plum and I enjoyed it. I was just like, okay. She smells delightful, delectable, intriguing, sophisticated. It was kind of sweet when I wore it, which is why I was just like, oh, okay. I was expecting it to get like super woody at some point. It never got to that stage. And it was just like, it just surprised me. I was just like, oh, okay. Look who joined the party. She's definitely a head turner. And I was just like, I'm here for her. This has plum, pear, Egyptian jasmine, jasmine sandback, Turkish rose. 
I'm a, I'm gonna butcher this. Devanum, Devanum, not sure. Incense, vanilla, patchouli, labdanum, and cypriol. This one was really, really good. Again, another one that is not talked about enough. This is something I would totally wear fall, winter, and just be doing my one-two step. If you waft this in the air, it just, oh, boozy plums. Like, just so good. It's so good. I don't know why people don't talk about this one. I would love to have a bottle of this. It's, oh my God, such a, a unexpected surprise and one of those scents where you're going to turn heads. She's sexy. She's alluring, daring, just mysterious. Mysterious. Mm. Wood Jasmine, I don't know why y'all don't talk about her, but baby, she is worth the try. In no particular order, Citrus Riviera, Celle de Jeant, Ombre Safiano and Oud Abraman. Those are manly, so those are disqualified from my list. But my absolute bottom would have to be Velvet Tonka and Tuberose Imperial. They just smell terrible on my skin. And I'm gonna add French Bouquet into the mix as well, only because it's a little bit too mature for the vibe that I'm going for right now. Now with Gris Charnel Extrait and Creme de Cure, even though those are kind of unisex leaning masculine i i can still vibe with it i still like the smell of those i would have to be in the mood for these two now bouquet de hongri nuit de sable tobacco rose and wood jasmine i would love to own bottles of those i'm not in a rush to go and get those but i i can see myself adding those to my collection and you I think because we're coming up on fall, I think I'm gonna put her in the top. Yes, we're gonna put Wood Jasmine in the top with Gris Charnel, Passe Soir, and Rouge Smoking. Because those three, I just could not stop thinking about and I wore those multiple times. So yeah, I think those are my top fours, absolutely 100% adding to my collection. I put on Wood Jasmine just to make sure. And yeah, I definitely wanna put that in my collection. But those are my thoughts. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.